Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you all of the honor, Father God. Lord Jesus Christ, we lift you up and we magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. I do want to thank you for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. This is our corporate prayer and our midweek service. After we get done with praying, we go right into the word. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do ask that you like, subscribe, and share. Hallelujah. On the social media. Glory to your mighty name. If you would like to contact us, you can contact us on our website. That is H-O-D-I-M dot org. H-O-D-I-M dot org. Or you can uh, email us at H-O-D-I-M 1117 at gmail.com. If you want prayer, if you need somebody to talk to, to pray for you, Hallelujah. We're here to help you. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, Lord Jesus. If you would like to sow into the ministry, you can also do that on the website or you can go to our Facebook page, which is the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Let me pray again. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you right now, Lord, with joy, excitement, great expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that your divine will be done in our life today. We thank you that deliverance is going forth right now, Lord. Deliverance in the mind and in the heart and the spirit. Deliverance in the home. Deliverance in the marriage, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you all the glory, all the praise, and all of the honor in Jesus Christ's name. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to go into praying, but we're going to thank the Lord for being the true light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, whether people want to believe in him or not. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the only one, hallelujah, people talk about Muhammad and Buddha, listen, Jesus Christ is the only one who came from heaven, he was the only one who died on the cross, get this, he is the only one that has risen again and took the sins of the world away and is sitting on the right hand of the Father, hey, glory to your mighty name, we magnify you today, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to come out of. Um, let's go with Luke. <laughs> chapter 1 verse 79. Luke chapter 1 verse 79. <clears throat> to give light to them. That sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide your our feet into the ways of peace. Hallelujah. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So let's read that again in Luke chapter 1, verse 79. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet into the way of peace. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let's read verse 80. And the, and the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So now the light of Christ is to pull us out of darkness and out of death into, into the light. We got to understand, hey, glory to God. 
just because we have knowledge of the Bible, we understand the Bible, just because you may be able to break the Bible down or break the scripture down, that does not mean anything if you don't have the love of Christ in your heart, if you don't love Christ, if you have not given your life to Christ. Hey, glory to God. Your knowledge and understanding of the Bible won't even mean anything. Hallelujah. There are people that go to school or study the Bible just to argue and, and uh, argue with you and get in great debates with you. They are not of God. Okay. Hallelujah. They are not of God. They are of the devil. The devil believes in triples. You don't, look, let, let's go here real quick and we're going to get to praying. <clears throat> Let's go to James. Hey, da ba ba Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I got to find it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oops. Oh, I'm in the wrong book. That's why. Glory to your mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, let's go to um, James chapter 2, verse 1 and 19. This is what I'm telling you. Just because you understand the Bible and just because you know the Bible, hallelujah, don't mean that you're saved. God, Jesus Christ, must be in your heart. The word must be in your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's read this and let's get into prayer. Hallelujah. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devil also believes and tremble. But with but with the with thou not know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. So this is uh James chapter 2, 19 and 20. So let's understand something. Just because you believe in God, that don't mean nothing. It's Christ Jesus in your heart. Christ Jesus has to be in your heart. The word has to be in your heart. Listen, listen, to love Christ is to give your life to Christ. Stop sinning. Stop living in sin. Hallelujah. You want to live, live a sinful life? And I found out you really also need to live a sinful uh, 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 mind thought. Your mind can't be dwelling on sin all the time. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. But if you are in darkness because you have not given your life to him, glory to God, it won't do you nothing. So what? You went to Syrian seminary school and Bible college. So what? You got ordained in the ministry. If Christ Jesus is not in your heart, it'll do you no good. Jesus has to be in your heart. Jesus has to be the head of your life. That's above wife and children. Yes, you love your children. Yes, you love your wife. Hallelujah. You'll do anything for your children. You'll do anything for your wife. Hallelujah. A good one, isn't it? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So we're going to pray and thank the Lord that he is the true light. Hallelujah. And we seek the light, light of Christ. Hallelujah. We don't want to have no false light. We want the light of Christ on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Then let's go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Father God, we pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Lord. Lord, we pray that you are the true light in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you are the true light. We thank you for being a light in our life, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, that you are the light of the world, Father. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Father God. We seek your light, Father. We seek you with the Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory. We give you praise and we give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I said in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we worship you and we honor you in the blessed name of Jesus. Lord, we lift you up and we bless your holy name. We praise your holy name. We magnify your holy name in the precious name of Jesus. Father God, we are going to continue to lift your name on high, Father God. We are going to continue to seek you with our whole heart. Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are the true light. You are that vine, Father God. Hallelujah, you are that well that will never run dry in the name of Jesus. In the mighty glorious name of Jesus, we lift you up, Father God. We praise you and we honor you. We thank you, Lord, that you are that true light, Lord. We thank you, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That you called us, Father God. You said no man can come to you unless you call them. We thank you for calling us, Lord. Hallelujah. For bringing us into your marvelous light in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Glory to your mighty name, Father. We thank you and we bless you today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are the true light, Father God. We seek the light of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty glorious name of Jesus. We thank you and we magnify you. Hey, glory to your mighty name. We thank you that you are that true light, Father. We thank you that you are the light that light up the world, Lord. We thank you that you're that light on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost filled light. Huh? Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? We thank you and we magnify you today, Father God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for being Lord of Lord and King of Kings. We thank you, Father God, for being holy and righteous and showing us how to be holy and righteous, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we worship you today. We worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to know you in our heart. We want you in our heart and in our spirit, not just lip service, but we want you in our heart, Lord. We want you to lead us and guide us, Lord, as we go about our day, as we go about our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. You are that bright light that snatched us out of hell, that gave us another chance, that washed us in your blood, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you and we magnify you in the blessed name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We lift you up. In the precious, glorious name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the light of Christ, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for uh, Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Father God, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, we thank you and we praise you today. We love you, we honor you, we lift you up 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? Okay. Okay. We thank you, Father God. Lord, we honor you and we magnify your holy name. Father God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For Acts chapter 13 and 23, Lord. Of this man's seed has God, according to his promise, hey, glory, raised unto unto Israel a Savior. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that you raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being a Savior of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We glorify you and we praise you, Lord. We thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the day of Pentecost that had fully come. Hallelujah. They were all on one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house, all the house where they were sitting. Hallelujah. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues like a fire, and it set upon each of them. And whoo, glory. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the light, for putting the light of Christ in us, for filling us with the Holy Ghost and fire, for allowing us to speak in other tongues, in the heavenly language, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We praise you today. We honor you all today. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, in the precious mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for the light of Christ on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We thank you for that, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you said in your scripture, Lord. Hallelujah. This is Acts 1 and 5. For John truly baptized with water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Not many days hence. Hey, glory to God. Let's go down to verse 8. We thank you, Father God. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that we receive power of the Holy Ghost in fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, that you are the light. You are the light of the world, Father. You are the Savior in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that you died on the cross for us. You shed your blood on the cross, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You died. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you rose on the third day, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you took the sins of the world away. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for being that bright light, the brightest light among the light, the real light. Hallelujah. The light of Christ Jesus. We thank you and we praise you today, Lord. We honor you and we magnify you. We bless your holy name and we praise you. We honor you and we lift you up, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. We thank you for this prayer, Father God. We thank you for the word, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you that Jesus Christ is the true light in Jesus' mighty name. 
Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this prayer, Father. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen. Now let's talk about it. Our subject today for our midweek service is Jesus is the true light. You got to understand that if, if Jesus Christ is not in you, you're not going to heaven. If you have not repented and confessed your faults unto Christ, I don't care how often you go to church. I don't care what uh, 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 title you hold. If Christ Jesus is not in your heart, glory to God. You will not make it into heaven. I don't care if you're in one of the offices of a five-fold ministry. Hallelujah. If you're an apostle but don't have Christ in your heart, hell is going to be your home. If you are a prophet, and these are false apostles and false prophets and false pastors and false teachers and false evangelists, if you don't have if you don't have Christ in your life, in your heart, hallelujah, it will not do you any good. Hallelujah. It does you nothing. Knowledge alone will not get you in there. You got to allow Christ Jesus in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we, we talk about it. And we're coming out of uh, Matthew uh, 4 and 16. And let's, this is our base scripture. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and the shadow of death, light is sprung up. Light sprung up. So understand something. You may be in darkness, but if you give your life to Christ Jesus, I'm talking about giving him your whole heart, your whole mind, body, soul, and spirit. God, in turn, will give you his marvelous life. That's Christ Jesus' marvelous life. You, you won't mistake it. Hallelujah. It's the light of Christ who saved us. Glory to God. It is the light of Christ who has redeemed us. That light of Christ represents his power. Glory to God. That light of Christ represents hope. That light of Christ, glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It represents a redemptive power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When he died and rose again, the light of Christ, uh, hey, glory to God, shine through the whole world. Glory to your mighty name that every devil, every demon must be bound up and cast out. They were running from the light of Christ. They didn't understand what happened when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. He rose with all power in his hand. And when he rose with all power in his hand, that bright light of Christ was all around him. Hallelujah. He was illuminated in the light. That light was chasing darkness. The light chases darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. It is the light of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus needs to be the light in your life. Even when you go into what we call through dark times sometimes, which is situations that may or may not be your fault, you better look towards Christ so you can look and see where your help come from. I look to the hills to see where my help come from, but I'm looking forward. I'm looking for the light of Christ to come and help me and to come and rescue me. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. It is the light of Christ, hallelujah, that redeems you. It is the light of Christ that keeps you. When the devil comes and tries to attack you, hallelujah, they see the light of Christ on the inside of you. I said they see the light of Christ. They see you living right. They see you serving God to the best of your ability. Glory to your mighty name. So now they say, oh, that is a child of God. That's a son of God. That is a daughter of God. 
he can't touch them. Why? Because they got too much Christ on the inside of them. Too much Christ on the inside of them is also too much lack of Christ on the inside of them. Hallelujah. You don't give up. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on in your life, your family may be tore up. Hallelujah. The church may be going through stuff. They have to crazy me at the family reunion, at the doctors. Hallelujah. On the job, you do not give up on Christ Jesus. We do not know everything. We don't know how God is going to work everything out. Hallelujah. But we do know, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is the light. And he will take care of the light. Hallelujah. He will take care of your problems. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. See, we got to understand. We got to abide in Christ Jesus so Christ Jesus can abide in us. Hallelujah. As Christ is abiding in us and we are abiding in him, that is that light of Christ. That light of Christ represents strength. It represents power. That re My God, that light of Christ represents endurance in his word. That light of Christ on the inside of you represents holiness and righteousness and sanctification and purification. That light on the inside of you, you're telling people, I'm making a stance for this word. I don't care about no false doctrine. Hallelujah. I'm going by the word of God. It's too many people in the pulpit that are not preaching sound doctrine. They telling you you need to embrace abomination and sin. That is not Bible. They're misquoting. When God is love, yes, he is. But you got to remember, God is a God of justice. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He, it wasn't just Sodom and Gomorrah that he judged. He judged the uh, the uh, sons of Korah or the children of Korah. Hallelujah. He judged Israel, Egypt, when they had the, uh, the Israelites in slavery. That's where the plagues come from. That was a judgment. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. There have been judgment all through the Bible. Old Testament and New Testament. Hallelujah. I said Old Testament and New Testament. Don't, I, why you don't think uh, judgment is not in the Bible that God just? Hallelujah. Let me, let me show you something real quick. Hey, glory to God. Let's go to Exodus 34. And we gonna read six. Exodus 34, 6 and 7. Hallelujah. Mm. Well, let's go up to 5. Exodus chapter 34, verse 5 through 8. And the Lord descended in a cloud, in the cloud, and stood with, with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, and abundant, abundant in, in goodness and truth, keeping mercies for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. That is God's judgment. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, God will judge you. I, I, I don't know why you don't think so. You say, well, if God a loving God, why is he uh why is um uh, uh he sending people to hell and he's merciful? Because, listen to that, you send yourself to hell or heaven by the way that you live. God look at your lifestyle. And if you do not repent, you don't get a pardon from your sin. 
If you die in your sin, you've never given your life to Christ, you ain't thinking about Christ. You and you actually think that there's a party in, in hell, you are greatly deceived. Hallelujah. You are greatly deceived. It's fire and brimstone. It is torment for all eternity. We don't even, can't even fathom eternity. We don't even know what eternity is. The only way that Jesus described it, he said a thousand years is as one day. And one day is as a thousand years. For all eternity, I'm going to live right. I don't care if don't nobody in my family live right. I'm living right. I don't care if nobody in my household don't live right. I'm going to live right. I'm going to heaven. It's my job to leave my family out into prayer, into fasting and supplication and seeking God and, and seeking the scripture, getting the understanding of. Hallelujah. But if they don't want to go, I can just show them. They have to make up their own mind in their heart. Do you receive the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart? Do you believe he is the son of God and he died on the third day and rose again? You have, listen, when you love something or someone, you do whatever you can to please them. And if you do make a mistake or error or disappoint them, that hurts you to your heart. It, yeah, when you mess up, when you make a mistake, it's supposed to break your heart. You're supposed to feel bad. But on the other hand, you still got to repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry I made a mistake. I'm going to get back in here. Please forgive me. And you do your best to stay out of it. Hallelujah. I said you do your best to stay out of it. Jesus Christ is the light. And he is the light of the world. So don't think darkness is going to take over the world. You got the light of Christ in you. Hallelujah. And you want more light in you. When I say more light in you, you want more of Christ Jesus on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Because when stuff comes in this land, you better make sure you got a, a relationship with Christ Jesus. Uh, and I've been telling people for the, for years, look, and it, it's been a lot of people, to, uh, legitimate prophets saying that there's going to be a famine in the whole world. You never know. God may be feeding his people from manna from heaven again. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. They putting all this junk up in food that's making you sick. Hallelujah. They telling you some bill is better than some natural herbs. Listen, when I say natural herb, don't get me wrong. I ain't talking about you need to be going to smoke weed. I didn't say that. No, we ain't talking about that kind of natural herb. We talking about the Bible says there will be healing in the land with the with the herb, with the uh, trees and in the earth. That's what he's talking about. He ain't talking about you getting high and glorifying the devil. No, he ain't. I just want to make that clear before y'all say something crazy. No, I never said that. Is there be a healing in the land? Well, you saying, well, pastor, it's a natural herb. They grow it. So why can't we use it? Well, my simple answer is this. Poisonous mushrooms is, a, is natural. It grows from the earth. Do that mean that you eat that? Yeah, I ain't think so. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We glorify your holy name. We glorify your holy name. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 9. Deuteronomy 5 and 9. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity 
of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. He said of them that hate me. He talking about the people. You you mock God. You talk about God. You don't believe there's a God. You, I mean, you in witchcraft, you in a homosexuality, bestiality, masturbation, you in all that, and you mock it. You, 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 you brag about sleeping with somebody else's wife. You brag about sleeping with somebody else's husband. Hallelujah. You brag, you, you brag about being in sex clubs and having orgies. You brag about getting high and smoking weed and shooting up. You brag about lying on folks. That is the iniquity of the fathers. And if you do not repent, he will visit them to the third and fourth generation. You bet. Listen, I don't ever want my children to go through something because I didn't do something right. I don't want, I'm not saying I had the worst life, but even the stuff that I did, some of the stuff, you know, some of the stuff I went through, I don't want my children going through. That's just it. Glory to God. And I have a good childhood. Yeah, my God. It is the light of Christ that needs to be on the inside of you. And again, how do we get the light of Christ? Pray. Have faith. Then you got to pray. But if you don't have faith in your prayers, what good is it doing you? I'm going to tell you again. If you don't have faith, what good is your prayer? You don't even believe God will answer your prayer. And you say, Lord, I don't know how to pray. I've never prayed before. Be sincere about your prayer. And then if you don't know what to do, go grab the Bible and start reading it. Pray scriptures. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me behind, but beside the still water. He restored my soul. Pray. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. The first one of the Lord, my shepherd, is Psalm 23. Psalm 1 and 1 is, uh, 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 blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Hallelujah. Both scriptures. Hallelujah. Lord, I don't know what to pray. But I'm going to pick one of these scriptures out, and I'm going to start praying. And along with me praying, Lord, I'm going to have faith that you hear my prayer. Lord, I pray that you teach me how to pray. Hallelujah. In Luke 11 and 1, when Jesus was praying afar off, one of his disciples looked at him, said, oh, and when Jesus was done praying, his disciples said, Lord, Teach us how to pray as John also taught his disciples. Hallelujah. Let's go there real quick. Because I didn't do some scriptures. I ain't taking it to them. But let's go to Luke 11 and 1. Luke 11 and 1. It says this. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, when ye pray, say, Our Father which thou art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven, so in earth. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins for we also Forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's how you pray. That's how you can keep the life of Christ in you. You have to spend time with Christ. That's quality time. Quality time, that could be just uh, being silent, asking the Lord to speak to you. 
Lord, when you speak to me, I want to hear you and give me the understanding and the knowledge of it. Sometimes it's just reading. Sometimes it's praying. Sometimes it's praise. Sometimes it's worship. Sometimes it's praise and worship. Sometimes it's just meditating on the word. Hey, glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Jesus Christ is the light. He is the light of the world. You see Ye first the kingdom of God. And Luke, uh, Matthew 6 and 33. Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all, and all these things shall be added unto you. Let's go over there and read it. Hallelujah. Matthew 6 and 33. Hallelujah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I want to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, glory. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, to make sure that Christ Jesus will always be in you, the light of Christ will be in you, the light of Christ will be on you, the light of Christ will be around you. You're wondering why people don't like you. Really, it's the devil on the inside of them that see the light of Christ in you. They don't want to be around you because all you do is talk about the Bible. We don't want to hear about who you slept with and who you cheated on and who you robbed the story. What we don't want to hear none of that. I want to hear about the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Our subject today was the light of Christ. <laughs> Keep the light of Christ. Seek the light of Christ. If you seek in the light of Christ, that means you're seeking God. When you seek the light of Christ, that's where you seek ye first, the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. You seek the kingdom of God before you get married, before you have children, before you start making millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. You seek ye first the kingdom of God. Nothing or not, nothing or no one should take you from serving God. Hey, listen to what I'm telling you. You tell your wife, I love you, but I'm serving God. You can tell your husband, I love you, but I'm serving God. Amen. Glory to your mighty name. We do thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, we thank you for joining us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am thinking about bringing back the men's uh, uh I want to call it the Ben's ministry, but we're going to, I'm going to pray on that some more and we're going to see what the Lord is going to do. Hallelujah. We may even start one that's just Bible study. Hallelujah. We'll go into the Bible, go a little in depth more in the Bible. Hallelujah. Thank God for the preach word. Amen. Something as foolish as is preaching. Glory to God. People say preaching is foolishness. But he tells you in 1 Corinthians, let me go there and we finna go. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. All righty, here we go. 1 Corinthians. Hallelujah. Chapter one. And I believe it is in verse 21. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. 
See something as foolishness as preaching is saving those that believe. Hallelujah. For it, for after the wisdom mm, of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. The world don't know God because they think they got more wisdom and knowledge of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop because I feel like preaching again. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you. Jesus, mighty name. I do want to ask you, if you're not saved, this is the best time to get saved. And all you got to do is be sincere. Lord Jesus, repeat after me if you don't know what to say. All I'm saying is after you repeat it, just be sincere. Sincere in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, save me. Forgive me, Lord. I was wrong. I confess my sins, my fault unto you. I thank you, Lord, that you died on the cross for me and shedded your blood. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me another chance. Hey, glory to God. I thank you for your mercy and grace in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. If you said that you are saved, you have to believe that Jesus did die on the cross for you. See, a lot of times we know that Jesus died on the cross for the whole world. But for some reason, we don't want to put ourselves in there. No, that includes you too. We know he rose on the third day and took the sins of the world away. That means your sin too. Now what you do, you get the Bible, you start reading it. Well, I don't understand it. Read it anyway. Ask God to give you the revelation, the understanding, and the knowledge. Hallelujah. Then you, you ask the Lord to give you a prayer life. You ask the Lord to take everything out of you. Lord, take everything out of me that is not of Christ. I don't want it no more. Hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, Lord, give me to a good church, a church that believe in deliverance. Hallelujah. That believe in signs and wonders. That believe in true worship. Do you know you can get saved, delivered, set free, devils be bound up and cast out of you just out of worship? You get some, my God, true worship and true praise? Yes, all that can happen right then and there in the praise and worship. Hallelujah. If you would like to join this ministry, we're online. Hallelujah. Email us at H-O-D-I-M. Dot org, H O D I M dot org, or you can email the ministry, H O D I M 1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Be strong in the Lord, and we will see you Saturday. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Heart. Glory 